So one of the common questions that I've received is, Inshira, how can I study the accounting standards? Because for most students writing the financial reporting examination or the corporate reporting examination, their concern is always the accounting standards, especially for those writing the corporate reporting examination, because most of them came in with their MBA and MSc and were exempted from the financial reporting in the level two, it means that they lacked the foundation that is established in the financial reporting, which is necessary and critical to study the corporate reporting in level three. But over the last decade, as I've been teaching the accounting standards in financial reporting and corporate reporting across the professional qualification examinations, ICAG, ACCA, and then ICAAW, I believe that there are a couple of things that you have to take into consideration and know about when it comes to the accounting standards. So in this video, I am sharing with you a couple of tips to study the accounting standards, understand them pretty well, so that when you go to the exam hall, you will be able to pass the examination. Now, somebody may ask, why is the accounting standard so important? The account the standard is so important because if you are writing, say, financial reporting, you are going to be having a minimum of 40% of the questions. That's, that's just the starting point directly relating to the accounting standards because you're going to have a dedicated 20 mark question on the accounting standards. Then you're going to be having a question on the preparation of the single entity financial statement. And that could be the statement of profit or loss and statement of changes in equity and the statement of financial position or the cash flow statement. The beauty of these is that when you are preparing any of these statements, the examiner is going to be providing you with footnotes. Each of these footnotes, when it comes to the preparation of the single entity financial statement, is going to require the application of an accounting standard. So aside the dedicated question, we're going to be having the single entity financial statement question. Then you come to the consolidated financial statement. That is question one waiting for you in the exam hall. In the consolidated financial statement also, there are a couple of accounting standards that will play a key role there. So in order for you to even deal with a consolidated financial statement, you have to apply some accounting standard principles because it depends on how excited the examiner is. We have IFRS 3, business combination there. We have IAS 28, investment in associates there. We have IAS 38, intangible assets so that we can deal with various issues about goodwill. Then there is going to be fair value adjustment. Now, when we are doing the fair value adjustment, a lot of accounting standards are going to be coming to town there. We can have IAS 16, property plants and equipment, IAS 37, provisions, contingent liabilities, contingent assets. We can have IAS 23, borrowing costs. It depends on how excited the examiner is. So that is going to be applicable even in the consolidated financial statement. Then it depends again on how excited the examiner is. There is going to be a five mark question in the written part of the examination on accounting standards. So if you look at it carefully, you realize that the financial reporting exam, for you to be able to pass the exam, you need to understand the accounting standards. Same apply to corporate reporting. You're going to be having a 25 mark question waiting for you in the exam or on the accounting standards. And you, need, you must know about all the level two financial reporting accounting standards plus some exclusive, which are in corporate reporting that you must know about to be able to pass the examination. Then consolidated financial statement, you're gonna be applying some other accounting standards there. Even when it comes to business valuation and then financial reconstruction and corporate reorganization, these topics will require you to apply the principles in the accounting standards. So it tells you that really, if you want to pass the corporate reporting examination or the financial reporting examination, then the accounting standard will be very important. And that is something that students have asked me about over and over again in Shira. How exactly can I study the accounting standards to position me to really pass my financial reporting exam or the corporate reporting examination. So I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of tips that you need to put in place so that it helps you to really navigate through this journey so you can prepare well for your examination and pass the exam. I believe that you don't have to risk it for corporate reporting. You don't have to risk it for financial reporting. If you understand the accounting standards very well and know how to study them 
pretty well, you will be in a better position to be able to ultimately pass the examination. You ready? Let's get excited into the discussion.